So here at present we are in an institution called Muniseva Ashram, which is an NGO. And Muniseva Ashram is an NGO active in the field of social care, health care, education and sustainability. So my name is Deepak Gadia and I'm in charge of sustainability at Ashram. So our idea is to how to reduce a carbon footprint. So we have used different different type of technology for reducing our carbon footprint. So here what you see is for solar thermal, for heating and cooling. You will be surprised that uh, even as we speak today, 50% of the Indian population cooks on open fire. 3.2 million women and children die because of the smoke in the kitchen. So we were looking for a solution how we can cook without using or destroying the forest and without using wood. And these are the solar cooking systems where you can actually cook without using any wood. So this is the technology where you reflect the sunlight directly in the kitchen and you can cook in the comfort of the kitchen. So which is what you call direct cooking. But for, uh, uh, when you want to cook for thousands of people, then you require technology like there behind, where you don't bring light in the kitchen, but you bring the heat in the kitchen in form of steam. So that reflector reflects the light onto a water body, water tank, and then because of the high temperature, the water becomes steam, and then steam is sent to the kitchen and you can cook for thousands of people. So uh, in India, unlike Europe, in India we require a lot of energy for cooling because we are in a very hot country. So this is a beautiful technology where uh, actually you can produce heat and you can use the heat for cooling without going through the electrical route. It's called vapor absorption chiller. So we produce solar steam and with the steam we do cooling by running vapor absorption chiller. And we had installed a system where we had 100 such dishes producing steam and we were doing hospital cooling for 160 bed hospital. I think what, what we have done, we need to multiply, we need to replicate and we need to learn, keep on learning and so we are glad that we have you from Switzerland traveling in, around in, across India to show what all is possible with your electrical truck or vehicle and uh, creating awareness that solar energy you can travel the world, uh, why solar energy, what is environment challenges. So I think uh, it's good that now people around the world are working as one team to create awareness and offer solutions. So thank you for coming from Switzerland all the way to take, bring the message and connect us.